Hi there my awesome friends. So today I wanted to show you um, a little trick with string. My dirty mat, which I like messing on. You need some craft glue and of course you need a tag. So I've already prepped this one for you, but I'm going to show you how I did it. And these work really well for abstract patterns. So using your craft glue, make a little pattern on here. And you can see I'm doing it quite thick. And there you go. Cut a long, longish piece of string, not a piece that will fit because it's too difficult to handle. And working, starting off the edge of the tag, you lay your string in the glue. So this is ordinary white craft glue or wood glue. And there you go. So, and I just want to give a shout out to my taper tag um, friend, Leonora, who actually beat me to the punch by doing this um, in one of her projects already. But it was a tutorial that I had planned so I thought I'd just speed it up for you and then here I'm gonna go there so this is why it's nice to have a long piece of string so you can manipulate it where you want it to go and you don't have to cut pieces so I'm working today with the light on because it's a really gray day and the next week is going to be very overcast but I must admit I'm not so sure I like all these shadows on everything but let me know if working with the light on irritates you and then we'll just have to wait for sunshiny days so there you go I've done that you have to put it aside until the glue is dry so that could take I don't know depending on your glue and depending on your weather an uh, hour or two or 15 minutes who knows so this one I did last night for you and I just let it dry and now we're going to cover it with some tape So I wanted to share something with you as well. As you know, I mentioned in an earlier video that I got a new ruler. And let me tell you why I love this new metal ruler. Because it is so easy to cut tape now. I'm just measuring my tag. Using the 20 centimeter, 30 micron thin tape. Crumple it up and let's get going. So working with fiber or string um, is a little bit different because it's soft so you have to work a little more carefully than you would normally because as soon as you're working with something soft the two things can happen one is that you'll you can tear it um, and then two is that you lose definition so there you go like that and the other thing I wanted to show you, when you're working with something that has like thickness, um, like your plastic doilies or something that has thickness that has gone to the edge, I always like to cover that edge with my tape. And that is why I cut the tape this way, so that my edges are covered. And the reason being is that you won't your, your tape won't lift where the string is or where your your thick embellishment is. It won't have a chance to lift. Using the credit card. Now, as you can see, it's a bit difficult to use the credit card here because it's raised. So I like to just use my finger first. And by using your finger first, you are actually preventing your tools or whatever from from tearing your tape. So finger first, then paper pencil. And don't be too hard with your paper pencil. Just work it gently. Do the edge there. And then you can go back and work it again. Okay, so there's quite a lot of raised definition here, which is really interesting. Um, and the possibilities are, are endless with this technique. I actually have a project up my sleeve 
but not a tag project. A, a bigger project where I want to use this technique. And I thank, thank Leonora again for her inspiration and for being so on top of her game. She's really talented. And I think it's awesome that we can that we can share with one another and learn from one another. Okay, so as you can see, I'm working around the string more than once. So take your time because you don't want it to tear. You don't want your tape to tear. Okay, so there we go. So now we've done that. I'm just going to trim the excess off. And here, I must say that I find the light quite distracting. Okay. And I can't see this edge. There you go. Okay. So you can see quite a lot of dimension looking great next thing we're going to use is our tool so when you are using anything with dimension do not use the tiny points use your t tool with a bigger ball which prevents the risk of going through and here i'm being quite untidy you can see i'm not just doing a straight line i'm doing short little strokes that actually overlap a bit but i kind of like that Not, not everything has to be neat and tidy. And let's just add some interest as well. Another reason that I'm using the short strokes is that it, it helps me smooth down everything nicely. Okay. Now, I wanted to show you, I actually tore, tore this because I worked too hard. I'm not even sure if you can see, hopefully you can, that I, that I tore it there. Not to worry, we're not going to be too concerned about that because generally when it's inked, you won't see that. That's one of the reasons you've got to work very carefully when using dimension. And don't be in a rush. Okay, so so called or oh, oh, Mr. Peace. Let's just flatten that again with the paper stamp. I didn't do this. Okay. Don't you think it's amazing the the raised texture here? It's really, really awesome. And I must admit, while I'm working on this, I can't wait to color it because I can see how amazing it's going to be. I'm going to just texture certain sections of it, not everything. And here. You can really have a lot of fun. I like to call this my snail pattern. It's like a twirly at sign. How cool is that? Just finish this section here. So what would you color this with? Alcohol ink, glass paints, what do you think? So using string is awesome. 
and I'm not going to do a video on it or a tutorial on it, but you can actually use um, glue and let it um, let it dry overnight and use the glue as your texture, but it won't be as raised as the string. So there you go. How, how great is that? Shall we color it? And you can see I'm being really gentle near where the string is because you don't want to tear it in any way. Not that the Sharpie will, but anything with raised texture, you've got to be a little bit more careful when you're working with it. And the other thing is we are not going to use a nail buff on this. I hope you girls are really enjoying the tag challenge. Um, yeah, please, please share what you make and don't be shy. Uh, go onto our Facebook group, tape, tape a tag, and get some inspiration. Metal tape is really forgiving, and it is probably one of the most reasonably priced crafts to participate in. And believe me, I've tried many crafts. I have done beading. I have done Felting. I am a seamstress. Um, I've done scrapbooking. I've done clip, you name it. I've probably given it a try. The only two things I haven't done is I cannot crochet and I've never mosaiced anything. But otherwise, generally, I have kind of tried to, to do something or a little bit of something. Okay, rub it with your cloth. No nail buffs. How awesome is that? So keep an eye on the taper tag group on Facebook because I am definitely going to color this tag. Take care and thank you for joining in the challenge.